business, <laughs> buffalo chicken garlic bread pizza. Ooh, yeah. that's a it's mouthful. It's a mouthful and it's a mouthful. That's right. I always have Texas toast garlic bread in my freezer. It's a quick like, what do I serve this with on the side? You know, maybe if I have some pasta or whatever, I'll just throw it into the oven. Um, so I've par baked these at 425 for about 10 to 13 minutes. And I'm gonna make the actual topping. Um, and then Katie, if you don't mind making me our pizza sauce, this okay. is a nanya business, which means didn't do a lot, okay? And when you asked me what I did and how I made it and what's the recipe, none of your business. It's a lot of just throwing it together. So that's the marinara sauce. Adding in some buffalo uh, wing sauce, which is really just the hot sauce and the Ooh. butter emulsified for you and flavored up, and a little bit of honey to kind of take the edge off of the heat. So here I've got a store-bought shortcut, very inexpensive and fast. You can buy the, the chicken already shredded off the bone now of rotisserie. Uh, to that, I'm gonna add in some blue cheese. Are you guys blue cheesers? With um, your yeah. buffalo? I love it. Yeah. It's so good. Love some it. green chilies that you get out of the can. And then to marry the flavors and the idea, some buffalo chicken sauce. So this is gonna be spicy. Oh, it's well, it's not too bad, you know what I mean? The bread, the bread uh, lightens yeah. it up, right? Yeah, the bread helps it out, you know, that, the cheese helps it out a lot. All you need is carbs to cover it up. And look, it's not like swimming in the sauce. All right, so assembly is really simple. Assemblage. I was assemblage. just gonna say that, assemblage. I swear. Assemblage, sounds better, I should have no? said it right when I thought it. Well, you, you said guys it together. were separated thinks, at birth. We think alike. Wow, oh, it would've been so cute. A nice spoonful. And this is such a good idea to use those as toasts. It's like doing the French bread pizzas. And then over the top, just the mozzarella cheese. Oh, man. This like is a nice I mean, mound of it. The oven is still on at 425. Nothing. And guess how long this is going to take? Like one minute. minute. 92. Like eight more minutes. It's eight nothing. more minutes? Yeah, just eight Fast. minutes. Yeah, just oh. put it in there. Hot oven. What about, what, about broiler? what do you think about broilers? I love broilers. It's all I, I, love do. Broiler. I think they're underrated. You can right? broil it because the bread's already done, you know? Dude, and, we're I... made, and we're making use of that rotisserie chicken again. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Oh, Ooh. yeah! yeah. yeah. It's pizza, 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 pizza. Friday, you gotta have pizza. <laughs> I think you need an ice cold beer with this. Oh, look, Agreed. we have some. Oh, look, we have some beer. Uh, uh, Jeff, you wanna Friday, do the honor? I'll do it. She's got I know you need a thousand. Yeah. Okay, you got that for us? I got it, I got it. Katie, you want one or? Uh... Yes. And then how do you guys feel about ranch? Yeah. 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 Well, I mean, I know, if we're gonna do on it. Buffalo pizza. Come on, you gotta have a little ranch. ranch I like some right nice uh, beluga oh caviar on mine. <laughs> And there you have it. Feed me. All right, go. come on, Jeff. Going in. Open the hinge. Airport. Hinge, unhinge. Ooh, that's 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 got, got some, some girth. I can smell the toast. That's not Texas toast. Oh. Mm. Chili. I smell the chili. Oh my god. Yeah. Quick, easy. I like how the, the rim of this has got a, a pizza crust, crusty vibe. Mm -hmm. The inside still kind of doughy and mm. saturated with that magical garlic butter they put in there. <laughs> but man, the blue cheese mingling with all that buffalo flavor. And you, I'm glad you you cut the, the tomato sauce with the buffalo sauce because it adds a level of sweetness. It's not just like super concentrated. So good. I'm gonna throw together some buffalo chicken burgers. Oh my goodness, these are delicious, saucy, drippy, and wonderful. I started with ground chicken and I seasoned with salt and pepper. And I'm gonna add just a little melted butter and some Louisiana hot sauce, the stuff you'd use if you were making buffalo wings. I'm gonna go in with my hands. There's no better way. Ground chicken is such a great alternative to ground beef. Don't tell any rancher I said that. <laughs> I love the texture of ground chicken. It's so soft and tender. Okay, I'm gonna divide this little pile in half and I'll make two equal sized patties. When you're making buffalo chicken burgers, you don't wanna form teeny tiny thin patties. You really wanna make a nice big substantial one. Okay, I'm gonna get this into a skillet with a little vegetable oil in it. And I'll get the other one formed. While the burgers keep cooking away, I'm gonna whip up a really simple buffalo sauce. It's about a half a cup of melted butter, and I'll add the same amount of the hot sauce. A 
filled it a little bit full, <laughs> but try not to make a huge mess. I want to stir this until it's totally mixed together and the butter isn't separated at all from the sauce. That looks great. Now I'm going to flip the burgers. See how they look? Oh my goodness. Yum, yum. Now I want to start this saucy process. So I'm going to spoon a couple of spoonfuls of the sauce onto each burger. So while they cook on the other side, I'm going to make a simple blue cheese dressing to go on the burgers. Started with about half a cup of mayonnaise and the same amount of sour cream and about a fourth a cup of blue cheese crumbles. You can add more if you're a big blue cheese fan. Splash of vinegar and salt and pepper. Another quick way you can make blue cheese dressing is just to take a bottle of ranch dressing and add blue cheese crumbles. Don't think I haven't done that from time to time. <laughs> all right, that is all mixed together. So now I'm gonna get some buns into a skillet to toast. I've been heating up an iron skillet and I'll get a little bit of butter going. Instead of plain buns, I thought it would be really delicious to use onion rolls. So I'll get those in. Oh my gosh, the other side of these burgers looks delicious. I'm gonna pour just a little bit more sauce on the other side. All right, I'm gonna let these keep cooking for a couple minutes. I'm gonna get some of this sauce. This sauce is getting a workout. I'm gonna pour a little bit on the bottom bun. Okie doke. Time for the burgers to go on. This is a burger fit for a teenage boy. Okay, now I'm gonna put all sorts of fun stuff on top. I've got some thinly sliced celery, and I'll drop a little on each burger. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit of blue cheese dressing on each pile of celery, and then a little bit of extra blue cheese crumbles. Why not? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put a little dressing on the buns, the top buns. Twist up for All us right, today. All right, so you guys know I love anything like pizza calzone ish, yep. and I also love anything with wing sauce basically. So, calzone is perfect for the football party food swap. We're gonna switch out that cheesy marinara and go for spicy buffalo <gasps> chicken. Yeah, yes! I was hoping someone would do that. <laughs> Cheesy dreams of I at night. This, yeah, yeah. I, I thought of you when I made up this recipe. <laughs> Let's make a cheesy, spicy buffalo chicken calzone. Cheesy, Let's do it. Spicy, All right. Jeff, you've got a really hard job. Yes. You're gonna very thinly slice those for me, mm -hmm. and then you're gonna make some celery sticks to go along. That's with it. That. All, All right. right. So first step is two tubes of that thin crust pizza dough out of the refrigerator section. First one, you're gonna cut in half. Save one half of it. Pardon my reach. That's the other right. half, my you're gonna sharp, cut right. into the same size as a football-shaped pan. We've used you're this kidding. pan before. We okay. used it actually to make a shark cake. So you wanna just cut one out, same size, and bake it until it's golden brown. The other one, just spread out, and we're gonna get started with our chicken. So I've got half of our rotisserie chicken here, and I'm gonna add to it a half a cup of chicken wang sauce. Chicken wang okay, sauce. Chicken wang yeah. sauce? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you can make your own if you want. It's just equal parts butter and your favorite hot sauce. Or there's so many good ones on the market now that you can just buy. They come pre-buttered, essentially. Yeah, right? pre-buttered. Yeah. It's just the viscosity is a little bit thicker. I still yeah. use it like hot sauce sometimes. Though. Yeah, you got Me it. Me too. I, mean, I keep yeah. some in the fridge, and if Same I'm here. making grilled chicken, I just throw a little on there, and I'm real happy about it. OK, so. Take this piece of dough Ooh, look at that. and then put it right onto the football shaped pan. Now, if you don't have a football shaped pan, you can always just kind of freeform this onto your sheet pan. And uh, you know, you can you can do it. You can eyeball yeah, it. Yeah, but they're so easy to find this time of year. Totally. Yeah. Okay, now I'm gonna take half of our chicken mixture. And you can see it's not sopping wet no, with it's empty, right? Because hmm? you're going to add some more stuff. Right. It's not too much sauce so that it doesn't get soggy. So just put about half of it down there. This is great. You could fill this up with anything, you know, yeah. sausage. Yeah. Oh, I think it'd be great with like some pulled pork barbecue, mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then I've got some mozzarella cheese here. 
I'm gonna... Nice melting cheese. Put about half of that in. Do it. And I'm gonna put some scallions in there as well. That. She's just got a little vegetable. Get those going in there. In there. Right. Yeah, you know, we gotta have a little something green, <laughs> some right? Some green, some roughage. Now, for structural integrity, oh, that baked maybe. piece is gonna go right in here. It's all right if it breaks a little bit. You're just wanting it to be there for support. Now, uh, the chicken guy on top. Two stories. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. So spread it out. Bananas. A nice little carbohydrate here. rebar right there, yes, girlfriend. Exactly, yes, exactly, exactly. I, like I want to get every little last bit of this in there. And then I'll take the rest of those. Oh, don't take that, though. That's scallions. That's put those the... in there. I'm going to put the rest of my ches right down. I mean... And then I've got some blue cheese. This is optional. If you're not into blue cheese, you don't have to do it. But I like that it gives it that little something, something that I expect mm -hmm. from wings. That dirty funk. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> then I'm going to take funk. my other half of dough. Oh my god, more dough. I, I love this. This is like, I think this is going to only be a big game. Big. Yeah. I mean, this is pretty extraordinary. Put it on top here, and then just so kind of the deep fryer going? Or? Yeah, let's Good. get the deep fryer. I'm going to put the whole thing in. Just kidding. OK. So let's trim the edges around the sides, get the extra off, just like that. And you can save these and make some garlic knots oh, for yeah. your big game party. Everybody loves those. If you're, like, not a blue cheese person for, you know, um, hot wings, yeah. mm -hmm. you could also just I love this recipe, Katie, because you could get like a little pack of that ranch mix and toss it with the cheese in there. And now you got totally. that ranch flavor going totally. on. Totally. Yeah. yeah, we're going to serve it with some ranch dipping. Uh, Just like, you know, you put ranch on pizza. I do. Yes, yeah. I did it last night. I do night. that. Just go all the way around and pinch it. Don't knock it till you've tried it, America and beyond. <laughs> Drag what? it through the river, as I like to call it. Mm -hmm. Okay, this goes onto a sheet pan into the oven, 425 degrees. I got to see this. For about this is... 15 minutes. Yeah, I mean, talk I mean, about this. This could be the main course of there. your big game day party. I think I got it. You got it. Don't okay. move too quick, Jeffrey. We don't want you to <laughs> blow an we MCL. We don't want you to pull a muscle, Jeffrey. Okay. What? Now, <laughs> here's what I'm gonna do. Okay. It's not done yet. So you're gonna oh, take hot, this. It's hot. Oh. Flip it. Here we go. I'll spot you. It's like. Yeah, I might need a spot. Flip it out of here, because you want to get a nice golden brown crust on oh, the football. So it's got to go back and I in. I found that, yeah, when it just comes out, it's oh, not quite not dark bad. enough. Oh. It's not bad, it needs a little extra. You hit it with a little oil, and then I top it with some garlic salt. Oh. My favorite finishing salt now. Yep. So a little garlic salt goes on. Back in the oven, it only takes a few minutes to get nice and browned. You know, maybe like 10 minutes or so. Same this temp. is a calzone. Yep, I, can get same it, temp. I can get in touch with this. You can find find your sensitive side. What would you put in your calzone, Jeezy? And then uh -huh. I have one that I was just keeping warm in here. I decorated it with it's some cute. cheese for football laces. Oh, laces out. <laughs> Serve it with this uh, celery sticks and vegetables. some ranch. All right, Jeff. Oh, great. Yeah, just give me get in a good here. quarter of it. Jeff, favorite. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting ready. We gotta start this off right, guys. I'm the guinea pig here. Look how that. nice that is. Doesn't it's that such a nice yeah. integrity of statue. Yes. We'll get you a little ranch dressing going oh, there. Oh man. Some celery. You, you get know. your. Vegetables. You gotta have your fiber. Does this come with a stent? <laughs> <laughs> Look at that cheese oozing out there. Yum. Cheesy. Go I, know you're I don't know if I do middle this. first or end first. Oh, oh, you know, oh. Yeah. You are turning into Jeff. No, sorry. Can't help it. It's happening. No. Look at that cheese. Oh. I think Arnold Schwarzenegger would love this. Oh. I mean, this is. This, this leaves you wanting nothing. This is like taking care of your pizza craving, your chip craving, because you got that crunchy layer in the middle there. Your buffalo wing craving, your ranch craving, all your big game cravings, all your big game day cravings are in one singular bite here. I love oh, spicy wings, and I love the ease of cooking them on the barbecue. So I'm going to show you, I have kind of a different technique for grilling wings, and I like to keep them whole, mm -hmm. and I kind of stack them up. You know, it's usual conventional wisdom to spread everything out on the grill so that it doesn't steam. Yeah. 
But this actually helps you render the fat by putting them close together. It keeps them moist, and then at the end, we're gonna make them crispy. But I'm gonna make our sauce real quick. Some melted butter. Gotta have that butter. Onto the grill. Butter. This what, is what? so simple. You add in your favorite hot sauce. And then you put in a little bit of honey, so you have some sweet with that spice. Really cool. So easy, too. This is the first thing Super I ever easy. made on Food Network were hot wings with Emerald Lagasse. This is like <laughs> the beginnings of me right here. And some vinegar. <laughs> vinegar, very important. I have a little vinegar important. in there. And whisk it all up, and the heat will help it all get blended together. So just wanted to, the sauce to come together. It gets that nice, classic orange of the, of the wings. So those wings cook about 12 to 15 minutes per side if you leave them whole. I have some here that have been cut, so if you prefer the kind that are cut, you can use those too. I, I can eat more like this, faster. <laughs> yeah, so you can true. get them faster. Is this your Too seasoning, heavy. salt, pepper, and garlic yes. powder? So before the chicken goes on, I season it with salt, pepper, garlic powder. Thank you, Sonny. I get excited. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm excited that. too. Trust. <laughs> OK, so now the sauce goes on to the wings. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that's my favorite part. That was and we're going to give it a good toss. Mm -hmm. And they're going to go back onto the grill for a couple of minutes. Oh, I like. So that they get nice and crispy, because the sugar mm. that's in this sauce is really going to help those skins get really nice and crispy. So this is a party for my nephew who's turning one. And of course, the adults are coming. And so you know what? I'm going to entertain the adults. That's why I'm making buffalo chicken meatballs topped off with a buffalo sauce that will make them taste just like chicken wings. So now I'm making my chicken mixture. I have two stalks of celery, half of a green bell pepper, and half of this onion. If you don't have a food processor, just mince it up really finely with your knife. That looks good. I'm going to also grab my spices and breadcrumbs. Two pounds of ground chicken. I'm going to add my veggies. I'm just going to use a little bit of my house seasoning. My house seasoning has garlic powder, onion powder, some sweet paprika, some salt, and pepper. One cup breadcrumbs. These are unseasoned. Let me just mix this up a little bit first. Just want to lightly beat two eggs together. This is going to help bind that chicken with the breadcrumbs. Using my spatula, mix it up, making sure it's nice and mixed. All right, so I got two sheet pans here that I have sprayed with nonstick cooking spray. It's going to help the meatballs, of course, not stick to the pan, but also it's going to get a little crunchy, little texture to it. I can distinctly remember some of the parties from my childhood. My mom would gather like my friends and my cousins probably like for the first seven years of my life. That was like a thing. We would go there to this fast food joint and they would give you like little paper crowns. And my mom would bring like my cake. Fun times, fun times. <laughs> All right, let me wash my hands. All right, so I have my oven preheated to 400 degrees. I'm going to bake these chicken meatballs for about 20 to 25 minutes or until it's like golden brown. Now I'm going to make my very simple buffalo sauce. Got a saucepan here. I want to add a stick of unsalted butter. If you want it a little less spicy, use more butter. I'm going to use some hot sauce. I'm using this entire bottle because I want to drizzle this sauce on top, and I also want to have a little extra sauce on the side. And I'd say about a quarter cup of Worcestershire sauce. Add this to your buffalo sauce, and I promise you, you'll never go back to just eating butter and buffalo sauce. Add the Worcestershire, and it's going to take it up. Get that distinct color. I like to taste it, see if I need to add a little bit more of that uh, Worcestershire sauce. Oh, that's good. It's tangy. Not too spicy, in my opinion. I think the adults are gonna love it, and it's gonna taste so good once I toss the meatballs in it. Buffalo chicken meatballs. So I've got ground chicken, which is sold in the supermarket. I'm just gonna add a bunch of things to it. So one egg, breadcrumbs. You can do seasoned, but these are plain. I added salt and pepper. And then I've got really little bits of celery, which of course is always served with buffalo chicken. Garlic. Of course. 
And then the white parts of green onions, sliced really thin, Louisiana hot sauce. So look, this did not take long at all to kind of mix together. It's a little bit more tender than ground beef, so it all really stirs together easily. Okay, really good. So I'm gonna use my trusty scoop and I'm gonna get about 28 to 30 meatballs out of it. I'll roll them up and put them on the sheet pan. So these are gonna bake at 400 degrees for about 15 minutes until they're totally done. All right, I'm gonna make a sauce. So that is nothing more than butter and more Louisiana hot sauce. So I've got the skillet on medium high and I'm just gonna cook this until the butter is melted, the sauce is bubbling and everything just looks orange and wonderful. Okay, so this would be a wonderful time to go grab the meatballs out of the oven. Now I'm just gonna scrape them off of the sheet pan and get them into the sauce. Make sure the sauce is still bubbling. All righty, now I'm gonna turn the heat off of the sauce and then look, just stir them around and get them totally coated. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Delicious, they look amazing. So to serve these, I'm just gonna pile them in the middle of a platter. I love things like this, just saucy and messy and wonderful. Okay, so celery sticks and then gorgonzola cheese and then some celery leaves and a little thing of toothpicks. And then I cannot let this sauce go to waste. I have to pour some more on. Actually a beautiful platter. It is fun. Just serve this to friends, serve it to your kids, serve it to yourself. I think I like the last idea best. What's up everybody, I'm Eddie Jackson and this is Eddie's Game Day Playbook. Now today, you're gonna make two things that I think should have been married a long time ago. Buffalo chicken and macaroni and cheese. This entire dish is gonna take about an hour. So you can prepare this the day of and be ready to roll when all of your friends come over. It's gonna be a touchdown for today's game. I have some beautiful boneless chicken thighs. Dark meat is the best meat in my opinion, hence myself. <laughs> I'm gonna season them up on both sides with a little of this black pepper, a little bit of celery salt. One of the first things that I remember cooking with my grandmother back in the day was macaroni and cheese. But I don't think my grandmother ever put buffalo chicken on top of it. Boom. We're gonna add a little butter to this. All over, don't miss any spots. Woo! Boom. A little hot sauce. I'm gonna pop them in the oven for about 30 minutes and I'm gonna get started on my cheese sauce. I'm gonna make a roux. I mean, I'm from Texas and you know, right next door to Louisiana. So I think I know a little bit about making a roux. So we're gonna take three quarters of a stick of this butter, let that melt down. And then we're gonna add our aromatics. A little onion, we got a little celery. We got a half a cup of flour in. Next, gradually add this milk, then very, very slowly, a little bit at a time. So we wanna add a total of five cups. Oh, can I do two things at the same time? Let's see. Oh, I can't do it. <laughs> Let's go ahead and start adding our cheese. Now this is by far one of my favorite cheeses. This is smoked Gouda. This is like cheese gold, in my opinion. It's my favorite cheese, a little Parmesan, a little cheddar. This is getting nice and creamy, nice and thick, exactly how you want it. So I'm actually gonna take the pasta and put it directly into this sauce. Mix that all up, oh yeah. Now we have to get our chicken out. All right, so I'm gonna grab a couple of forks and I'm just gonna pull this chicken apart. Man, I wish you could smell this. Now it's time to quarterback this thing. We're gonna put it all together. Look at all that creamy goodness going on in there. I know, all right? Your mouth is starting to water. I have some blue cheese here and all I'm gonna do is just take off and we're just gonna dollops all over. Last but not least, we're gonna Top it off with our breadcrumbs. I might just eat this all by myself for everybody to get here. We're gonna pop this in the oven at 425 degrees for about 15 minutes. And when this baby comes out, it is gonna be game time. Oh, look at that. Oh yeah, perfect. Last thing I wanna do is add the rest of this tangy blue cheese right on top. 
I think I actually might be considered the quarterback of queso after making this mac and cheese. <laughs> Boom. It's time to dig in. Man, this thing is heavy. <laughs> Perfect timing. Hey, Something smells good. So good. It's gonna be good too. So guess what we got? Buffalo chicken mac and cheese. Wow. Is that so? Uh, come on, <laughs> come on, eh? Huh? Zang <laughs> <laughs> Big Dom. Eddie, you're doing something right here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna need the recipe. Just saying. Wow. I love buffalo chicken, and let me tell you, I love mac and cheese, and together. Let's go catch some game. Game yeah. time, baby. Yeah, let's do let's, it. Let's do it. So that's dessert. But first, we need a main course. And I thought with the Caesar salad and pancetta, it'd be great to have buffalo chicken wings with blue cheese dip. Take off the wing tip and then cut the rest of it in half. So the wing tip is really not used. I reserve it for chicken stock. And then these two pieces, I'm going to make buffalo chicken wings out of. So, onto my sheet pan. Usually buffalo chicken wings are fried, but I hate dealing with a big pot of boiling oil. Never mind how dangerous it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to brush these with really spicy butter and then broil them, and I think they're just delicious. So for the spicy butter, I've got four tablespoons of butter melted. I'm going to add two teaspoons of hot sauce. It's really hot. One teaspoon of salt, and a half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Even hotter. But remember, we're just brushing it on. I'm just going to mix it together. And brush on the chicken wings. So I'm serving really spicy chicken wings with a really cool blue cheese dressing as a dip. And it's always traditionally served with celery, which is sort of cool and crunchy. It's such a great combination. So I'm going to broil these for eight minutes. Then I'm going to turn them, brush them with more spicy butter, and broil them for another four, and they'll be delicious. Great. And while that's happening, I'm going to make the blue cheese dip. So I need 3 quarters of a cup of gorgonzola crumbled right into the food processor. OK. Half a cup of mayonnaise. Half a cup of sour cream. Just a splash of milk to thin it a little bit. Some Worcestershire sauce. Some salt and pepper. And just puree it up. This is a great dip, not just for buffalo chicken wings, but also for fresh vegetables. Oh, it's wonderful. Great blue cheese flavor, and the Worcestershire sauce does a lot for it. And I think the buffalo chicken wings are ready. Yeah. How good do those look? I'm just going to turn these and brush them again with a spicy butter. And four more minutes in the oven, they'll be done. Buffalo chicken tachos. I've just got frozen tots, and I'm sprinkling on some chili powder and some cumin. Sprinkle that over. And then I'll give these a toss. Frozen tots are pretty darn good as they are, but adding the chili powder and cumin really kind of elevates them. OK, they are all coated. So I'm going to bake these in the oven. They're going to go onto a rimmed sheet pan. Now I'm going to bake these in a 450 degree oven for about 35 minutes. So I'm going to move forward with the buffalo chicken mixture I just added some chicken breast that I cut into chunks. 
And I'm adding plenty of salt and pepper. I just had a little butter in the skillet. And I'm gonna start browning this before I move forward with the sauce. This kind of recipe is so much fun because you can serve it to teenagers after school, if they have friends over after a football game, it's perfect for that. Okay, the chicken is starting to brown, so I have some more things to add to the skillet. I've got some finely minced garlic and some sliced celery, which kind of ties into the buffalo chicken theme, and some sliced scallions. Okay. When Alex and Paige left for college, I swore things would never feel normal again. But we've kind of gotten a little rhythm. When the girls come home to visit, it's absolutely wonderful. And then when they go back, we settle right back into the man cave routine. <laughs> so now for the buffalo angle. I've got Louisiana hot sauce, and I'm gonna pour in a whole bottle. This is a great, quick way to make buffalo chicken. Of course, the classic is buffalo chicken wings. That takes a little more time. You have to fry the wings and then simmer them in the sauce. Okay, I think that chicken is just about done. And I think the tots are ready to come out of the oven. They should be golden and crisp. And yes, they are. While I'm here, I'm gonna turn the broiler on. So that'll be ready. So now I'm gonna assemble the tachos, but I wanna get the tots into sort of a group in the middle. You basically wanna make a pile. So first I'm gonna put on just a little bit of cheese. I'm using pepper jack, but you can use plain jack, sharp cheddar, a mix of Colby jack, and then this very saucy, spicy, tasty chicken goes on. I'm gonna grab a bigger spoon. <laughs> Okay, now you wanna get a bunch of chicken on top, but you also wanna get sauce all over the mix. It'll kinda of seep down into those crevices. <laughs> and then the rest of the cheese goes on. And this is going to be such a scrumptious pile of food right here. Okay, now the pan goes under the broiler just for two or three minutes until the cheese is melted and bubbly. This is not a dish you wanna make ahead of time. You make it right before you serve it. Now I'm gonna make a blue cheese ranch dressing to go with the tachos. You won't believe how easy this is. I've just got some prepared ranch and I'm spiking it with just a little bit of blue cheese. I'll give it a stir and add a little pepper and a little bit of salt. Ranch is basically a way of life with my teenagers. They eat ranch with pizza, chicken nuggets, french fries. I like to spike it with just a little bit of blue cheese to keep it consistent with buffalo chicken. Okay, that's the dressing. Pretty sure that cheese is melted by now. Let me take a look. Oh yes, it all makes sense now, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, what a fun dish, I love it. Now, of course, you can serve little ramekins with the ranch in it, but I kind of like to just go for it <laughs> and drizzle it on all over. It kind of makes a mess, but that never bothers me. <laughs> now, to garnish, I like to sprinkle on some celery leaves. So pretty and keeps driving home that buffalo chicken point. And then a whole bunch of green onions. Well, if you've never seen buffalo chicken tachos before in your life, that just changed. Here they are. Okay, I'm making buffalo chicken salad and I've gotta get the chicken cooking. So I'm gonna throw just a tablespoon of butter in a small skillet and then I'll add just a little bit of olive oil. And while that's heating up, I've got one boneless, skinless chicken breast. And I'm just gonna cut it in half and this will help it cook a little faster. So I'll just lay my palm flat on top of the chicken and I just slice it in half. It helps to have a really sharp knife. All right, now I'll just grab some salt and pepper, sprinkle it on top. Okay, now I'll just put it into the skillet with the butter and olive oil. Okay. I'm gonna whip up a really quick blue cheese dressing for the buffalo chicken salad. And it starts with half a cup of mayonnaise. Okay, and then I'll add quarter cup of sour cream, 
quarter cup of milk. Then I'll mix this together and get it really, really smooth. Now to the dressing, I'll add a couple of dashes of Worcestershire. And then of course, since it's blue cheese dressing, about a quarter cup of blue cheese. A Little bit more if you're like me. I like tangy, tangy, tangy blue cheese dressing. Okay, I'm gonna add just a little bit of pepper. Okay, the dressing's all done. So I'll start working on the salad greens. I'm gonna chop up some romaine lettuce. I'll just cut off the tough end and then I'll just make small cuts. Okay, I think that ought to be enough. Now the chicken's just about done, so I'm gonna pour some Louisiana hot sauce right over the chicken. This is also called cayenne pepper sauce. It's the sauce I use to make buffalo wings. Now I'll let that sit for a sec. Now I'll throw the romaine into a bowl, and then I just have a box of mixed greens. I want the salad to have some variation in color and texture, so I'll just throw a few of these in there. And then I'll just mix this up. And now I'll just pour some of the dressing over the top. Any dressing I have left over, I'll just use as a veggie dip. Now the chicken's done, so the last thing I'm gonna do is just slice it up to put over the top of the salad. Okay, now, okay, chicken to be unmistakably buffalo wing in nature, so I'm just gonna spoon a little bit more of the sauce over the top. I want them to be really saucy. Okay, now I'll assemble the salad. Got a serving bowl and I'll just pile all the greens in there. Got that yummy blue cheese dressing. Let me check the clock. Oh boy, <laughs> I better hurry. I knew this one would be close. Okay, and then I'll just grab the chicken, arrange it over the top. Okay, now the last thing, I'm gonna cut the bottom off of a head of celery, open it up and grab a few celery hearts with the little leaves. This is just a nod to buffalo wings and eating celery with blue cheese dressing. And then I'll just sprinkle on a little bit of extra blue cheese. Okay, I gotta check the clock. Oh, just a little over 10 minutes. That counts, right? <laughs>